Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you a screen recording tool that seriously changed the way I create content. This video is sponsored by Focusy and I have been using it to record my apps design tutorial, walkthroughs and course content and I'm honestly impressed. Here is why I love using Focusy. Minimal setup, camera press, screen layout, AI powered zoom and focus, clean UI, no clutter, instant export. Okay, so let's click on free download button and as we can see, we have already downloaded the software. Once you download, you can just simply install the application and allow all access for screen, mic, etc. And then you will be able to open and start using Focusy. So I have already installed and let's start using Focusy. Now it is time to record our tutorial and here Focusy is running and we are going to open Figma for recording tutorial and click on Focusy. Okay. On the left side we have to choose area for recording so here we have three options full screen custom and window on the right side we have to choose like settings device for me i'm using custom because i want to focus on specific area so custom is fine for me you can use windows full screen which size is preferred for you and on the right side i have choose this for the camera like showing face so i'm not showing my face so that's why i choose the none option you can use your camera or any external camera if you have installed on your computer okay so mine is none and for the audio like for example selecting microphone so i am already recording on my microphone which is connected so that's why i choose macbook pro speakers and for the sound system audio is fine so now let's select custom option and we are going to select our area so i am focusing only on working area so this area is fine for me still you can change the preferences you want but i'm fine with it so let's click on record and count down our recording is start so here we are we can stop pause and we can restart the recording okay so for example i am checking my script so i have to pause the recording and check my scripts and resume my recording again okay so now we are going to create our button so for the button uh, let's select text tool click so let's type button press escape key and press shift 2 on the keyboard and now convert this to auto layout let's make this 20 by and for the roundness let's try 12 for the color i'm going to use this blue color so now i'm happy with the button and let's stop the recording and focusy is opening so this is really cool and i really like this first let's turn off the audio so you are not listening the audio this is really simple and easy interface so the first thing we need is to choose the canvas size so let's choose the 16 by 9 expect ratio and we can also choose 1 to 1 4 3 and 9 by 16 which is short form size okay so let's stick with 16 by 9 and fix to zoom part let's enable this and for the fading uh, let's check the size of the window so i am happy with this size instant will add some kind of glassy stroke so i think let's make this zero for the roundness i'm happy with the two okay so for the shadow let's make this less shadow so make this 40. now it's time to change the background so this is really cool option for the background if you want to use background let's check the graceful option so I really like this so let's stick with this background okay next we need to check the cursor so these are cool looking cursor option we have and we can also select this ripple effect this is default and this is sparkle so this really works while you are clicking on certain elements so let's leave it none okay and let's stick with the default you can use it and here we can just choose the blur option for the motion like for example here as we can see this is zoom and blur effect so let's stick with the default or you can just change the value for example so you have this reset option you can choose reset and cursor movement medium is fine and also zoom uh, let's make this medium i don't want this slow effect so let's check this out as you can see here we are and we can also like for example expand the zoom effect here so let's check this out so let's make this and let's check this again this is looking really good you have to use really expensive tools for only for this zoom effect and focus if provided which is really cool let's zoom out and let's quickly check okay so as we can see we have now focused on this text workspace area and once i click so as we can see the focus area moving to padding section so this is really cool 
and for the radius we are going to use 12 so i think focus fee is winning this game and i highly recommend you to choose this tool audio control so for the audio as you can see we have to enhance this audio and reduce the noise effect and also like for example i am pressing shortcuts on the keyboard and every time my students ask for the shortcut keys and they are confused while i am pronouncing it so this is really built in cool feature so for example here i have pressed shift a so look at this shortcut which is in the right bottom corner we can choose the placement so center here and we can also choose the color but i am happy with the black color because this classic trend is nowadays very popular so let's stick with it and here i want to enable captions and you can like for example english caption on the video if you want you can upload your watermark and you can place it on your videos okay so once we are happy with this all adjustment like background padding roundness and all these setups now it's time to adjust our clip and also the zoom effect and then export our video so first we need to simply choose the area like for example here i want to delete this clip so let's add some clip option here and select this delete so this is the extra part just play and see the zoom effect let's decrease the zoom so this is empty part and we are going to trim this okay so let's select here and let's add another cut here just delete this and here we are okay so this is how you can trim any clip you want also you can use spotlight for example here in this area or maybe just here i want to focus only on this area so i will use spotlight as we can see we have spotlight effect the roundness and also let's only focus on this area so something like this it just a roundness i like this full roundness okay so let's play it again and here we are so look at this this is looking great this is how you can just focus on specific area you want and we have also this cool looking shortcut keys like for example if i am pressing shift a on the keyboard and here is the shortcut key and we are ready to export these clips so now just click on this export button at the right top corner okay and from here mp4 is fine i like mp4 and let's stick with 4k and 30 frames per second is fine project name is focusy and we can export okay so as we can see focusy is exporting our clip now we are ready to upload this tutorial to youtube let's see how you can use focusy for recording and editing which is really simple and really cool i highly recommend you to use focusy let's preview our clip look at this zoom effect and let's type and here we are with our keyboard shortcut is showing which is great if you are a content creator looking for a fast and easy screen recording that makes your video look lean and polished, give Focusy a try. I have added a link in the description. Check out and start recording smarter, not harder.